Hi there. In this short video, we're going to take a look at how you calculate an important concept in market analysis. It's a concept called market growth. Now, don't forget that market growth is just one of several important pieces of analysis or calculations that are often undertaken to try to understand how attractive a market is and who and which businesses have the share of that market. So we'll just focus in this video on the maths, the numbers of how to calculate the growth rate. Uh, in subsequent videos, we'll take a look at strategies that firms adopt to try to uh, take advantage of markets that have high growth rates. Market growth, it's important to remember that this is a percentage change. We're looking at the change in the size of the market. It could be a market segment, it could be a large market. We're looking at the change of that size between different periods. Don't forget that the market can also be measured in different ways. It could be measured in terms of the total value of sales, for example. It could be the total value of profits. And a common way of looking at market size is to look at how many or the volume of products are sold in the market between one period and another. Here's just a couple of examples to illustrate uh, some real life examples of how markets grow over time or decline in value and volume over time. Here's an interesting one. This is a chart that shows the total volume of smartphones that have been sold around the world over the last seven years. And this is a volume measure. So you can see from the uh, y-axis that the chart is displaying shipments in millions of units. So in 2009, 173 million smartphones were sold, which was a lot then. But just look at what's happened to the market in the last six to seven years. A very significant and strong percentage growth in the volume of smartphone, uh, smartphones sold, such that by 2015, almost one and a half billion smartphones were bought by you and I and the rest of us around the world. Whether that smartphone market will continue to grow at such a fast rate, of course, is an important question. And it's one that the likes of Samsung and Huawei and Xiaomi and Apple will all be considering. Smartphones is a great example of a market that's been growing fast, but there are lots of markets where the growth is negative. In other words, the market has declined in size and therefore the growth rate when we calculate it should be negative. Here's an example. This chart shows something similar to the smartphone one. It shows the total millions of PCs shipped over recent years, as well as a forecast for what the analysis suggests may happen in the next few years. And we can see that in 2010, 157 million PCs were shipped. But by 2015, that had fallen to 113 million. It's a market in decline. In other words, a negative growth rate. So the important things to take away from those two charts is, firstly, you can calculate growth in different ways. What you have to do is define the size of the market before you work out the numbers. But also remember that markets can fall in size as well as rise. So if your calculations are negative in terms of growth rate, that should be indicating that the market size has fallen. Now, calculating the percentage is relatively straightforward. And there's a shortcut which I'm going to show you here which uh, will always give you the right answer. The way to do it is just to compare the two values, the market size now and divide it by the market size in the period over which you wish to measure the growth. So market size this period, perhaps this year, compared with market size last year. Divide one by the other, take away one and multiply by 100 should give you the correct market growth rate. Let's have a look. So let's use the global smartphone data that we saw there from the first chart. We know that in 2015, the market size was 1.4 billion units or 1,433 uh, 1, million units. The previous year, the market size was slightly lower at uh, 1.302 billion units. We divide one by the other, which gives us 1.1006. We take away one which gives us 0.1006. We times by 100, and that should give me the percentage change in the market. Now, it looks like the market has grown, and indeed it has grown by 10.06%. Let's do the same thing with the global PC data, uh, PC data there, where we know the market has been falling. 
So in 2015, the market was 113 million units. The previous year, it was much higher, 134 million units. We divide one by the other, gives us 0.8454. We take away one times by 100, and you should find a negative number. In this case, it's minus 15.46%. The market has fallen in that year by around about 15%. Quite a significant fall. Now, you may be given a, some data in a table that shows the unit sold or the value or the market size over time. Well, of course, you have to do, if you are going to use the traditional method of percentage change, is to calculate the change between those units. So I've done it for you there on the table. So, for example, if we look at, uh, this is just a worked example. It's not the same as the PC or, or uh, smartphone data. Let's have a look uh, between uh, 2013 and 2012. Uh, there was a hundred thousand increase in the size of the market so we express a hundred thousand divided by uh, a million and if you express that as a percentage that's a ten percent change so that's the other way of calculating the percentage change calculate the change between the two units or the two periods and divide by the base the previous period let's have a look at uh, 2014 uh, there was an increase of 250,000, that's the change, divided by the previous period, 1.1 million. That should give you a growth rate of 22.7%. So that's the sort of slightly longer way of calculating percentage changes. You calculate the change and express as a percentage of the previous number. Now, just finally, just a quick word on index numbers. You may be given some data in the form of an index table where some of the calculations have effectively been done for you. Don't worry about that. It actually makes it quite easy to calculate the percentage change. Here's a really simple example just to illustrate the index number. Don't forget index numbers. You'll always find there is a base year against which previous and subsequent periods are compared. So in this case, the base year is 2015, which is 100 as expressed as an index. And the previous year and the next two years are therefore expressed in terms of their difference between uh, the base year and the year in question. So for example, if we look at this, 2015 as a base is 100. 2016, we're told the market size was 105 compared with 100. If we express the index number now over the base, take away one times by 100, it should always show what the change in the index number is, which of course is 5. 105 index this year, 100 in 2015 is a 5% change. So that's market growth. Those are the numbers. In other videos, we've shown you how to calculate market size and market share, and we'll return to market growth as an important concept uh, in your marketing analysis studies.